Hello and welcome to the Current Issues module NM234. My name is Margaret Smith, I'm a Senior Lecturer in the Division of Nursing here at Queen Margaret University and uh, I'm your module coordinator. I also work in a team with uh, Ido Wilbersky, Dr Ido Wilbersky and uh, some of my colleagues including Susie Peacock. Um, the Current Issues module is one of the later modules in the MSc Professional and Higher Education programme. People quite often choose to do it just before they do their dissertation module for the Masters. Um, we invite you in this module to focus on current issues that are currently affecting professional and higher education at the moment. Things that are really influencing and shaping our practice. We'll be inviting you to critically analyse, evaluate and interrelate current issues in professional and higher education within local, national and international domains. We want you to contribute to developments within the workplace and based on sound knowledge and understanding of contextual issues, look at the factors that could impact on achieving strategic goals. Professional and higher education really requires critically reflective teachers and that's what we're working with you to develop as you work through this particular programme. We're wanting people in the module to become very curious about their learning, very keen, knowledgeable and skillful. We want you to engage in academic debate by focusing really on the provocative and significant questions affecting our contemporary professional and higher education practice. We want you to critically examine key and emerging issues, both as a member of a group and individually, and we want you to be able to construct and defend academic arguments, things that really lead to very logical conclusions. We have designed learning activities that help you to gain a broader perspective on professional and higher education and begin to see the world in new ways. We want you to feel ready by the end of completing this module and the Master's programme to really shape your own contribution to professional and higher education. You'll find that this module further develops your scholarship of teaching and learning and in particular focuses on areas of UK PSF, the Higher Education Academy standards, particularly the professional values dimensions of practice and looking really at the knowledge and evidence informed approaches and the wider context in which we operate. Okay, so just moving on a little bit, uh, you'll find in the information in the, in the Module Hub site that there are specific learning outcomes. They focus on appraising current government policy with regard to adult learning, professional and higher education, looking particularly at the external and internal organisational drivers that affect our practice. Uh, critically analysing philosophical perspectives and theories underpinning education uh, in the professional and higher education er arena and also to critically debate the importance of selected current issues. Within the current issues module you'll find that the total amount of student effort is estimated at around 150 hours, so a substantial module leading to 15 credits at level 11 on the Master's programme. You'll be exposed to a variety of teaching and learning methods, including online discussion groups, which I know you'll be probably familiar with. Uh, we've prepared some video materials for you and also specific learning activities and self-directed study. Um, these are all structured around four large units of learning, so the, the, the module you'll find is divided into four units. Um, and you'll at every stage be encouraged to apply your learning to your workplace. You'll also be encouraged to look at the related organisational structures and the professional frameworks with which you're working as well. You'll find within the module content that there's a module descriptor so please do go and have a good look at that and also look at the assignment guidelines. You'll find these easily in the hub, uh, in the hub area. 
uh, these let you really prepare and track your academic progress through the module so do take care to read those carefully and come uh, through and ask us if you've got any queries about the content there. You'll also find that there's a schedule of activities. The, this provides a, uh, a structured way to support your learning and professional development through this module. Um, you'll find as you move through the units of learning, these four units of learning, that there are formative pieces of work that we ask you to complete towards the uh, end of each of the units and we'd ask you to complete them by certain deadlines. That enables you to really learn and engage with the material, but also, perhaps even more importantly, engage with your colleagues in group activities. So do, do try to keep an eye to your deadlines and, and work to those. You'll also find uh, a very explanatory reading list for the module. We're sitting here in the library, so we're actually in the philosophy section, so uh, those of you who are on site will, will find your way here, I'm absolutely sure. Uh, we, we will pinpoint the particular texts that we think are going to be most useful for you at the various stages in the module. Anyway, um, I think maybe if, at this stage if I just uh, give you a little bit of an idea about what is in the various units of learning, uh, but you'll also find out all of this information as you familiarise yourself with the module. So in Unit 1, the place where you'll start, you're really invited to participate in activities that introduce you to a range of current issues in professional higher education today, really. Uh, we, we, we'll be doing things like inviting you to critically review the relevant policy documents that have come from government, with those that particularly relate to adult learning, the professional context that you might be working in, and to higher education. You'll be asked to focus on a specific issue and critically analyse the relevant internal and external drivers, look at this, this from the perspectives of different stakeholders, and then submit a written formative report, and there's guidance for this. Quite often students will choose fairly broad topics at this stage. It might be something like designing assessments to maximise student learning, facilitating learning, how does facilitation of learning differ from teaching, and where is it the place of that within the wider context of learning, teaching and assessment. People might look at quality assurance issues, uh, Others might look at values-based education, um, commercialisation of education, market, market forces, marketisation. There's a whole range of current issues they might, uh, might want to, to pick from. So, uh, so Unit 1 is very much an introduction to current issues, lets you explore the territory and find things that are maybe of particular interest for you in your workplace at the moment. In Unit 2, we we'll actually get you to really think about this area of um, this topic that you've, you've uh, settled on in Unit 1 and move that along further by really engaging with the notions about critical reasoning, critical thinking and, and developing critical arguments. And we'll ask you to work on the top, a topic of your interest. It uh, could be the same topic that you identified in Unit 1 or you might develop a further one and develop that really into a much more robust question or a position statement or a thesis that you really work with um, at level 11 in, in your master's programme. Then uh, we'll ask you to complete a 750 word peer reviewed piece of work um, that uh, you'll submit and post up on the discussion board. Uh, moving through then into Unit 3, we invite you to really explore the philosophy and education and learning theories that relate to, particularly to the topic that you're, you've chosen, but also to your area of practice and the things that are, are of interest to you. Um, at the end of that particular unit, it's a fairly hefty unit in, in terms of the reading requirements for it, but we ask you to complete a 150 to 200 word discussion forum and, and put that up in the discussion area and that will be really examining philosophy and theory of education. In Unit 4 really it's a, a matter of putting everything together, um, really returning to this idea of your current issue that you've started to work on in a formative way 
and building on that to develop an argumentative essay. Um, you'll find through the content of all of the units that we do focus quite a lot on developing the academic argument, so you'll become very familiar with this kind of approach. Um, and that builds up really to this essay that, uh, that we ask you to develop and submit. Um, you require, you're required to submit this essay um, by a, a particular deadline and its uh, maximum word limit is 2000. Anyway, rather than me continue to talk to you just at the moment, I am really keen that you get into the module learning materials and uh, find your own feet and maybe start to look up some of the references that we identify for you or listen to some of the YouTube videos that accompany some of the resources that we've highlighted for you. So please do go ahead and familiarise yourself with the module hub site, introduce, introduce yourself to your colleagues and the lectures and the programme and if you've got a nice picture you want to put up certainly put that up it's a nice way to get engaged with, the, with everybody in the class. We really hope that you enjoy the opportunities for learning um, and developing your own practice that this module offers. You've got quite a lot of flexibility to really pick on a topic and really go into depth and um, really get yourself in a really good position for perhaps your next challenge which would uh, I would hope be the dissertation for the Masters in Professional Higher Education. Anyway, we hope that you learn lots, find it very stimulating and really enjoy being in dialogue with your colleagues and the lecturers and the programme. Thanks very much for listening and very good luck. Bye for now.